We start in Stockton, where police are looking for the gunman wanted for killing a 17-year-old and pistol whipping a 16-year-old. You may remember it happened yesterday at Unity Park near Chavez High School. And new tonight, the teen's mother is pleading for answers in the case. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has the exclusive and very emotional story. Last thing he said to me was, was, I love you, Mom, and he stopped texting me. Amanda Mays recounted the last moment she communicated with her son, 17-year-old Ty Kin, less than an hour before he was shot and killed. All that went through my mind was, I hope they have the wrong kid, you know? I hope if he was in that situation that he wasn't the one that was shot. And um, I rushed to the hospital, and by the time I got there, he was already gone. His mother says he was a high school junior, but just a few credits short of already graduating. He played basketball and baseball and was learning to be a barber. But above all, she says, he was simply a good person. He loved his family. He loved school. He loved helping other people. You know, he went out of his way to do for others before he did for himself. The shooting happened Wednesday afternoon. Stockton police say the two teens were playing basketball at Unity Park near the high school when two suspects approached them. The 16-year-old was robbed and a fight happened. Ty was shot and his friend was pistol whipped but survived. The suspects then fled on foot. Meantime, earlier today, police were combing this park looking for any evidence of the shooting. They used metal detectors in their search. Hours later, as school was let out, some Chavez High School students lit candles and created a memorial. It's just sad, to be honest. I don't, I don't have any words right now. And either did Ty's girlfriend and sister, who sat devastated next to Ty's mother, who did have something to say for those responsible for killing her son. Somebody knows something and that this can be resolved and and justice could be made. Now, grief counselors were there at the school today for students and staff. Meanwhile, police have increased patrols around that neighborhood. The family also has a GoFundMe page to try and help with funeral expenses. We have that link on our website, abc10.com.